crafty friends. Okay, I had several of you ask for a tutorial on how to make this little box. So, here goes. Here are all of the measurements that you'll need. And uh, I don't think they're quite all going to fit on there, but we'll go over that as we go. Um, okay, first of all, you're going to need a piece that's six by ten and an eighth, which is this. It needs to be scored at four and an eighth. I'm not going to be able to do it on this scoreboard. Okay. Hang on a second. Not prepared. I thought I was. Hang on. Okay. <laughs> now let's try this again. And I have the light turned off because it's uh, it makes a big glare. So now I'm having trouble seeing. Okay. Four and an eighth. And I use 110 pound cardstock. Four and five eighths. Five and an eighth. And nine and an eighth. Okay. So I have that. Then you take the six by nine and a half piece, score that at an inch, an inch and five eighths, five and three fourths, and seven and a half. Okay, let's just go ahead and score everything while we're scoring. Then you have three pieces of eight and a half by seven. Now the eight and a half direction, we're gonna score it at four and four and a half. Then we're gonna flip it to the seven inch width and do it at one half by six and a half. Okay, so it will look like that. Okay, so I'm going to do all these this way. Um, now, while I'm doing this, let me say that I'm sure, I mean, I saw this on somebody's channel. And I have gone back and tried to find it, and I cannot. So, I don't want to, this is not my pattern. I mean, I had to measure my own box in order to get, figure out the dimensions. Uh, what just happened there? Um, so, I don't want to take anything away from anybody. This is not my design and... I will gladly give credit where credit is due if I could only figure out where that is. I mean, this morning I spent about 30 minutes going back, looking through videos, trying to figure out who did it. And there's probably more than one person, but I did see it on somebody's video. So, okay. Now I'm going to move that over there. Okay. So see these little square areas? You see, yeah, right there. Okay, I'm gonna carefully and neatly cut those out because these are gonna be our little pockets or whatever you want to call them. Okay, that is far from neat. Oh my. 
Okay. Man, I'm not cutting. I might have to turn the light on. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> okay. These are so much fun to make, and they're quick too, really. Um, the part that takes the longest is this. At least it is for me. Y'all might be excellent neat cutters. I am not. Obviously, I am not. Okay, so while I'm doing this, I have to tell y'all what happened yesterday. So, Drake has a field trip to the zoo. Okay, Drake is in kindergarten. This is his first field trip ever. Well, he took one in preschool, but I'm talking about with kindergarten. So, it is 98 degrees here. 98 people. Too hot for a field trip to the zoo, A. B, we get there, and there's 8,000, and I'm not exaggerating, well, maybe a little, senior citizens and nursing home buses there. Come to find out, it was free senior citizen and nursing home day at the zoo. And they came to the zoo in 98 degree weather. Okay, let me just say, it was too hot for me to be there, Drake and I look like somebody had poured water all over us. Now, I know all people don't sweat like we do, but let me just say it was not a pretty picture. Anyway, when you have 8,000 senior citizens and 8,000 kindergartners trying to maneuver around each other, and it's hot, and everybody's ill because it's hot. And it was a, it was just not the ideal field trip. Just let me say that. I mean, we had fun. We made fun. We looked at animals, but not for very long. And then Drake was like, I really want to just go to the playground and play. And I said, you can play at the playground anytime, you know it. He was like, it's too hot. These animals stink. <laughs> Because, you know, when an animal is hot, they sink everything that comes out of them stinks. Thank goodness there were no bugs, or at least we didn't encounter any. So anyway, when I got home yesterday, I was exhausted, to say the least. And I would have thought that he would have fallen asleep on the bus on the way home, but he was too nosy. He said, and he couldn't. <laughs> Little fella, he was excited to go on a field trip. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm just folding along these score lines because I got off on my story and um, wasn't telling you what I was doing. Okay. Just score, score, score. Or fold, 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 we already scored. But it's supposed to get a little cooler this weekend, and I will take anything, anything. And the humidity, y'all, here is so high that hot is suffocating, and 98 is whew, hot, 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 hot. And it's October. It's time for a little bit of a ease up. I say. My friend's daughter lives in Montana. They got snow. And I'm like, okay. They have snow. And I'm a sweat ball. I was talking to these two moms, and they were just, you know, glistening with their beautiful skin. <laughs> Here I am, dripping. Drake's dripping. His head soaking wet. It's running off my face. And I'm like, ah, oh, ladies, I'm sorry if this offends you, but, you know, this is just how God made me to sweat. Okay. Now, 
Once you got your little boxes done, this ain't gonna be too wide. You need to use some strong, oh no, that's perfect. Some strong tape, and I have this red line tape. It's supposed to be uber de duber strong. So that's what I'm attempt to use without saying any ugly words because, you know, while doing this side of it is probably gonna be okay when it comes to the other side. Not so sure, but we'll see. So I'm trying to do this as fast as I can because I don't even know how long I've already been on here. Mm. Okay. And now my nose is dripping. Okay. I'll make sure that's good and flat on there. Let's see how long I've been doing this. 11 minutes. Mm. Maybe I can get it done. Okay, pull that off. This tape looks like it's been rolling around on the ground. It hasn't, but it sort of looks like it. Okay, so line that up. And all its perfection, because you only got one, sh one shot to make it right with this tape. Not too shabby. Okay, so you're gonna end up with three of these little fellows. And I'm just making sure that that's firmly adhered in there. Okay? All right. So let me quickly do these two. Poor older people. I mean, I'm no spring chicken my own self, but I mean, there were people there on oxygen, okay? And, you know, in wheelchairs. I mean, I'm talking all kinds of stages of elderly. And I, I, I don't know. Like I said, it wore me out. I can only imagine what it must have been doing to them. But they were there, and if they were happy and that's where they wanted to be, then. That's absolutely where I would want somebody to have me. That made me happy. So, there you go, and there you have it. But it was so funny, because I was talking to my mom on the phone. I call her every night, every afternoon, and I was telling her about it, and she said, well, how many had to be taken away? Because there's no way she'd have just said, no, it is too hot, I'm not going. Um, but um, I said, well, I, I don't guess anybody did. I don't know. I didn't ever hear an ambulance or anything, if that's what you mean. So, that was good. So you sure don't want anybody? Our UPS man, we won't discuss how I know the UPS man, but <laughs> couldn't be because he's always delivering here. Anyway, he is just the nicest man ever. Well, for like two weeks, I didn't see him, and there was somebody else running the route. And I was like, what happened to the nicest UPS man in the world? Because he would, if he saw my car there, here, you know, and, and I didn't come to the door, he'd know I was in the backyard with the kids. And he'd just come around to the side, you know, and say hi, and whatever. Just nice, just nice, nice fella. Okay, so two weeks go by, and I don't see him. And I'm thinking, what in the world? And so then, I'm sitting here working, and my uh, room is on the front side of the house. And so I hear the truck, and I look outside, and it's a you know it's a UPS truck, and he's delivering a package across the street. And I see that it's him. So I go running outside, and I said, "Hey, I don't even know his name, and that's sad." Anyway, I said, "Hey, are you okay? I haven't seen you in forever." And let me tell you, this is how hot it gets in Memphis. Okay, so, you know, 
they have a hard job. I know that they get a hard time about a lot of different things, but that's not everybody that works for them. This guy is exceptional. So, anyway, the heat, jumping off and on the truck with the packages. He had a heat stroke. An ambulance had to come get him off of his route. They took him to the hospital. He was in the hospital for three days with heat stroke. His kidneys quit functioning. He had to go on dialysis. Um, you know, the heat ain't no joke, people. And so, anyway, he was back on his route. Oh, I hope that's tight enough. Um, he was back on his route. But he said, you know, my body, and the doctor said, it's going to take a while to get over this. Because, you know, you, your organs, even though you were drinking water, it was just so hot and you had lost so much that your body was trying to, you know, save the water in it and protect you. And it, you know... Um, and so it's still sort of in panic mode. And so he said like he's still retaining fluid and, and he said it's because your body is, is trying to protect itself. It still thinks, you know, oh, I'm going to not have enough water. So every amount of water, he said one weekend he blew up 30 pounds and he said his wife was looking at him, and he said he kept moving his belt bigger and bigger. And she said, something's wrong with you. What's happening? And um, they ended up back at the hospital. And now, because of it messed all his electrolytes and all that kind of stuff up, he's, it gave him kidney stones. So two times, he had to go in and have kidney stones out. <sighs> Bless his heart is all I can say. Um... So anyway, he's trying to be back at work. I'm sure his wife wishes that he would just do something else, but he loves what he does. And I said, you better listen to that woman. Okay, so after all that rambling, now take your long piece and see where this inch is here. And your short piece has this inch here. And we're gonna overlap those. But first, let's do this. Let's score along all our lines. So then, you're going to overlap these two pieces on the one inch ends and stick them together. And again, I'm going to use this. And don't put it right in the crack because it'll, um, it'll mess up your foldability. That is a word. Foldability. Okay, I'm going to rub that down real good and pull it off because I think these are going to overlap a little bit. What in the world? There we go. Okay. Now, it's okay if this one goes right up to the edge. See what I'm doing. <laughs> oh me. Okay. Then pull that off. 
like so. Okay. And then I'm gonna stick that in the crack. Okay. Okay, so now you have this. Okay. So the next thing that you want to do is take your box, turn your paper around, so that you have a piece on this end, and that's where your first box is going to go, okay? And then you can decide at that point where exactly, if you want like all of your openings facing the same direction or what. Um... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. Let's see how I want it. Do I want it like that? And like that. And like that. Did I mess up somewhere? Okay. This one goes all the way to the end. Skip two, it goes there. Skip two, it goes there. Ah, I didn't. Just overthought myself. Okay, so I think I'm gonna have them all facing this way. Okay. You can do it however you want to. So, I'm going to put a piece of score tape. Actually, um, yeah, I think I'll put it on here. Okay, so this is going to be in the very first one, in the very first score, little score area there, okay? Then you're gonna go down here. So you skip two, so that would be one, two, and it goes on the third one. I, I'm so afraid I'm gonna tell y'all something wrong. Oh my. Okay. If I do, I guess it'll just be, well, there she did it. Oh, I have this one curl that keeps flopping in my face. which is not exactly what I wanted. So it was not in there exactly like I wanted, but it can give it a little encouragement. Have y'all ever had to do that? Just give something a little bit of encouragement. Yep, that's how it happens. A little bit of encouragement. Okay, skip to, I'm just thinking this one goes here. Y'all, I think I've done something wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. No, because this box is meant to fold right here. Okay, let me get my my stuff together here, if I can. I must not be a very good teacher. <laughs> oh, me. Okay, that's gonna go there, like that.
And this one is going to go right here. Okay. And they're going this way. Well, that's why. Because I'm a nut. I wasn't supposed to. Oh. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so I should not have glued this in the corner. I should have just glued it right here. Okay. I mean, no, it won't be fine. See how strong this score tape really is. This is the world, according to me. And this is how it goes. Now. Okay. Well, here's, here's a helpful hint along the way. If you mess up, just take your embossing thing and cover it with powder and voila. Sticky no more. Okay. And I'm going to cover this. So we just won't worry about that and forget about what I said. As I said in my instructions, this gets glued on the very end. Now, if I listen to myself a little more, that might be a good thing. Okay, so I'm going to use um, art glitter glue because I think it will stick and give you a little more leeway. Y'all are probably thinking, oh my, I'm never watching her do anything again. Okay, line it up to the edge. Nice and pretty. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Got it. See? Trial and error with me. That's how it goes. Alright. Now then. Skip two. One, two. Glue this in this space. See, I made this so hard, y'all. Just overlook me. I'm really trying to be helpful. <laughs> okay. So line that up right there. Nice, 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 nice. Yes. Okay. Skip two more. Can you see? Skip two more. One, two. Woo. And don't get crazy. And glue it in the flat space. Okay. That. And now, the miracle happens, we hope. And it does. Okay, you got your nice little box. Okay. Isn't that nice? Now, you can make a belly band. You can add a magnet. You can cut little notches out, or you can leave it. So for a belly band, you cut um, two inch strips. Like this. Glue them together, and then just kind of bend it around to make them fit. Okay. And so, this is the, the one that I made that I showed you guys. And so, I cut um, one-eighth of an inch smaller pieces in each one of these areas and covered them. Okay. And I did that on the inside, too. And I didn't cut any notches out. And I'm going to use this paper collection... And I'm going to fill it with fun ephemera. That one doesn't match. But I made this little card and an envelope that matches. And see, it'll just fit right down in there. Well, it would if I put it in the right side. Right in there perfectly. I'd probably put a couple in there. 
And then I'll put a page that has little embellishments. There's a bottle cap with a, there just happened to be a matching circle that was the right size. And I'll add something to that, you know, make some rosettes or just do some fun stuff. And um, I already showed you the rosette for this one in the belly band. So the belly band is basically, you just make a rectangle, but give it a little bit of room. So if you get your box extra full, that it will have room if you decide to use a belly band. And if you don't, then you can use a magnet or a latch, or you can tie it with a piece of seam binding tape, whatever. Super fun. Okay, I, ho I hope that um, that was clear enough for y'all to be able to make one. I think it probably was, except for that one place that I got askew where I was supposed to glue it down. But anyway, let me move this back over in case you didn't get it because my time, I don't even know if it'll download this much. Um, there's all of the instructions. Let me turn it this way. You can take a picture and have it forever in my chicken scratch. And if you try it out, let me see. Let me know what you made. I'd love to see it. And again, credit to whoever did this. It wasn't me. I just couldn't find you. You're a genius, and I love it. Okay, guys. Happy crafting. Blessings.